Hey, Joystick News gang, gather around the campfire because we got some hot news from the wasteland. Fallout 76 has just rolled out its first update of 2024. Patch 1.7.9.7 and it's 2Z. Whatever you are, a seasoned fault, dueler or a newcomer to Appalachia, this update is back in fixes and improvement that are sure to make your post-apocalyptic adventure even more thrilling. So let's dive into what's new and why it's matter. Since it launched back in October 2018, Fallout 176 has been on quite the journey. Initially met with skepticism due to bug and a lack of NPCs, Batista has been on a mission to transform the game into the vibrant online action RPG we see today, thanks to major updates like Wastelanders, which introduced the NPC and the new storylines. The game has seen its player count skyrocket from 13.5 million in 2022 to an impressive 17 million by the end of 2023. Talks about a comeback. The latest patch doesn't introduce new content, but it's all about fine tuning the experience. The update coincides with the launch of the Burning Love event, adding a touch of romance to the radioactive runes. But the real meat of the update lies in the mirrored bug fixes and quality of life improvement from ensuring plastic gas canisters count toward daily challenges to fixing crafting issues that prevented players from making communist themed outfits and gear but as the attention to details is evident and let's not overlook the improvement to expedition these tweaks address everything from gameplay mechanics in the pit and Atlantic City to fix in visual bugs and ensuring rewards are properly displayed. It's clear that Batishda is committed to refining the expedition experience, making each foray into these dangerous locals as rewarding as it challenging. Speaking of rewards, the Burning Love event is here to spice things up until February 13th, offering players the chance to earn a unique gear like the Hot Rod pink flamer skin, pink mechanic jumpsuit, rose tinted glasses, and even a pink fireplace for those who complete these weekly challenges. It's events like this that keep the community engaged and eager for more. Looking ahead, Fallout 76 has a busy year in store with further expansion, including the intriguing addition of Atlantic City and the Shinodo Woods. Batista promises for more frequent seasonal events is sure to keep player coming back for new adventures. And with the follow TV show set to air in April, it's an exciting time to be a fan of the franchise. So what do you think Joystick News crew? Are you excited about the changes and improvements both by dispatch? Do you have any theories or hope for what Batish that might bring to follow 76 in 2024? Let's get the discussion going in the comments below. And that's all for today's update from the Wasteland. If you dig in the latest from Fallout 76 and want to stay up to date with all things gaming, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Until next time, keep your pip boys turned to joystick news and remember in the wasteland it's not just about surviving it's about thriving see you in the next video